Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. We are back here again with part two of the DOA PS2. Now this is only just part of the PS2, but if you haven't seen part one of this series, uh, make sure you click the link below and get caught up with what's going on here. But just as a recap, I ended up getting a PS2 in, had z zero power going through. So when we pulled out the power supply, I removed these capacitors and tested them, and then basically found out that they were all pretty much toast. So I got four new capacitors that we'll be replacing them with, and we'll put them in, test the console, see if it works, and hopefully it works, and then we can see if there's anything other issues with it, and uh, take it from there. So let's get cracking. So if you remember from part one of the video, I put the components back in towards the end, just so I remember where they all are. So we're gonna work on this one, com one capacitor at a time just so we stay a little organized. A little bit of salt is still there. <laughs> So the value of the capacitor we need is 16 volts and 1,000 microfarads. And I have the two right here. But before putting in the new one, I do want to clean up the flux I had left over on the board. So we'll be doing this for every single one. Might as well just clean all of them up while I'm at it. Now we can put the new one in. You just gotta be care uh, pay attention to which direction you're putting capacitors in. So this line here indicates that the negative side goes there. So you're gonna look for the short lead or the stripe that says negative on it and then that's how you know which direction things go. And we'll remove the solder from the next one. We'll just solder all of them at once. Now with the capacitors everywhere they need to go, we'll put on a little flux and we can start soldering these on. I'm 
Let me just double check. Everything's still seated right. Well, close enough. So many times before, I mean a professional. Very good. All it's left to do is clip these leads off. And now time for a final clean. I'm gonna be pretty generous with the alcohol this time around. All right, now with the board clean and dry, I'm gonna put this back in. I'm not gonna put it all the way back together. It's because I do still wanna test the system. And I'm also tearing this down completely to the motherboard to clean it, so. Not much of a point in screwing everything back in just to take it all off again. Let's put the controller port back on. Brace really messes with my dexterity. Also helps so I put this on the right way. <laughs> Oh man, the downside of uh, using my wide angle lens, you can see how much of a mess this table actually is. All right, moment of truth. All right, we got a red light. That's a good start. Let's see how this thing works. Yeah, discharge spinning. Which means there's a disc in there. Yep. Somebody left the, gave me a free copy of Cabela's Trophy Bucks. All right, well, we can use that to test. First things first, let's see if it reads DVD discs. All right, cool. Let's see if it plays it. It's loading. It's another good sign. So now that we established that DVD discs work, got a copy of Ridge Racer 5, which is a blueback. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed on this one. Oh, found an issue. All right, so the disk drive magnet is busted. Probably why it's not reading. So we're gonna have to fix that before we uh, move on with this. So that's very nice. I'm very happy about this. So really, the only issue I found, aside from the dead power supply, but uh, the destroyed magnet, and that's a pretty common one. So I got my own little technique to fix this one. So I'll show you how to do that next. So I suppose we'll start by removing the screws for the drive. And 
just gonna pop this out. And so the first thing I wanna do with this is just clean it up real quick. Now we're just gonna take a little painter's tape. Tape around whatever we don't want to flex seal. If you want the more in depth, uh, tutorial on how to do this links in the description below there's also another method of using duct tape that I found works well too if you're just doing it for yourself you don't want to go through all this but since I'm selling this one might as well do this proper at least as proper as flex seal can be Okay, so it's the next day now, and the Flex Seal has had plenty of time to dry and cure, so I'm just gonna take this off. Cool, let's see if it worked. Put that back in there. And we got our copy of Ridge Racer back in. Let's see if it skips. So far, so good. Very nice. So I think that's all she wrote on this PS2. So it went from uh, total DOA to um, now fully working. And then all I have to do now is just finish cleaning up the, the uh, decades of dust and this will be ready for its new home. So thank you so much for coming along. If you liked the video, please give it a like. And as always, thank you so much for joining me and I'll catch you on the next video.